Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar this afternoon. We're delighted that you've chosen to spend your, after, your Wednesday afternoon with us. We might uh, give it two more minutes and um, let everyone jump on. We've got a great turnout today so we'll just wait and see if we've got a few more um, latecomers and then we'll get started. Okay, um, it's four o'clock so we might get started. Thanks so much to all our Wednesday webinar warriors for joining us this afternoon. Um, we have uh, an absolute delight to, um, to introduce Sue Beveridge to you. Uh, Sue is currently our education advisor at SMART and has had a long distinguished career in New South Wales DOE um, Connected Classroom Program and she is going to be talking about our up and coming IGC and the must sees and the must attends, which is really exciting. So I'm going to hand over to Sue now. And um, if you've got any questions, as always, down in the chat pod down there, pop your questions in and we'll address them at the end. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Beck. And uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for giving up your Wednesday afternoon for your own professional learning. It's uh, I have to say um, congratulations to you if you've been working all day in a school and you've uh, checked in to, to understand more about our conference. And um, Beck is our wonderful uh, education consultant from Queensland and I've actually seen her in um, action. And I have to say, if you see her name anywhere in the conference, make sure you go to her sessions because she really is an extraordinary educator, an agile educator, I would call. So um, I'm, I'm going to share my desktop with you. Um, and uh, what I've done is at this point in time is more or less to, to show you, I will show you all of the uh, sessions so that you can make a choice effectively for your, your own um, decisions over the next couple of days. What um, what I think is important to understand about an IGC conference is that, that it is about inspiring greatness in our students, about giving you strategies so that you can find their passion uh, in your classroom and build, uh, build on that passion. Uh, because for students in the future, the way they're going to learn is about, as you know, as you'll all be aware, um, collaboration, communication, problem solving, critical thinking and creativity are all going to be um, important areas for them. So our conference aims to provide teachers with that range of activities themselves. We, uh, one of the things we're also aware about is that often classroom teachers don't get to um, ha access some of those big thinkers, those um, often the big conferences are attended by executive in school and one of the reasons we make our conference free to teachers is so that it's in the holidays, doesn't cost the school anything to release you, it's free for you to attend so that we're spreading the knowledge as far as we can and that's one of the things that SMART believes in, in providing this activity as a way for us to build the capacity of teachers across the world to um, improve their use of educational technologies. Now, I'm going to just walk you through uh, how the days work so you'll, you'll get a sense. In the first instance, the school is actually situated, the school Abbotsley where we're hosting this one is situated in, a, in beautiful gardens. And we do it in a school because we believe that with um, seeing another teacher teaching using the uh, software, using the equipment, it sets up a model for the teachers who come either to get inspiration themselves or to, under, to, to see how practice can be replicated in their own classrooms. Often events are, play, are in 
um, big hotels or in exhibition centres where the um, setting is not the same as that that would be in a school. So that's one of our beliefs about, uh, so the conference is being hosted at w wonderful Abbotsley Girls School and we're, we're absolutely delighted to be there it's, and in their STEM environment and in their uh, innovate spaces and their mathatorium and all the wonderful places they have for learning in their school we uh, will have conduct our workshops and our think sessions and our innovate sessions and our keynotes for you during the day. We have lots of wonderful partners coming to uh, inspire you as well. And as I talk through the, the day, you'll see that when you arrive and you register and then go down to the Lower Everett Hall, there'll be an exhibitor space where we have a partner who has will have amazing pieces of furniture to inspire you for maybe what you could introduce into your classroom. Um, there'll be exhibitors like the Opera House, the Life Education Centre, um, EdTech man will be there as usual to show you robots and amazing things that you can introduce into your classroom. So our, obviously we want to share with you our work as a company and we've engaged in some global research and Australia was part of that research and um, our VP Jeff Lowe will present that to you. But also a very important aspect to that is that you can, as a school or as a, t as a classroom practitioner yourself, participate in that research. There's a, um, an online instrument for you to um, uh, enter your data and we can feed that back to you and give you an assessment against the capabilities that we've identified are essential for schools to, to take leadership in the use of effective educational technology. So um, I think I'm on day one. So day one, um, we will begin with um, our president. And then I'm sure most Australians have heard of Dr. Phil Lambert. Um, if you're not sure who he was, he, he has had a stellar career in our in education across Australia and he was the general manager for ACARA. He now is the president for the Australian College of Educators and we've partnered with them in this conference, partly because the, the membership of associations like ACE and ACEL are absolutely critical to um, for your growth as a teacher and by um, working with Phil in this way and having uh, presence at the conference, we are trying to, for some young teachers that may not have seen the importance of belonging to those, those um, organisations, we want to flag that as well. Now, Phil's work, is, he's been working with the OECD and he's been looking at the digital technology curriculum of 26 countries across the world. Now, we're lucky in this country that digital technologies is part of our curriculum. Um, and so, he, because of his expertise in developing a national curriculum which embodies those, those important skills, he's actually been um, part of a group that are looking at uh, enhancing the curricula globally of other countries. So he's going to talk to us about that. Um, then you can, after that's our keynote and our opening, um, and then you could go to the innovation space, which is a beautiful room at Abbotsley, which is um, designed in for learning in the modern way, if you like, where you could see a beautiful technology, um, beautiful furniture, and it, it and appropriate seating for learning in different ways. And that session about social and emotional skills will be run by Giancarlo Brotto, who is our global strategist. And he works on the OECD uh, advisory group around the developing a framework for how do we teach those skills to students going forward? Because what employers want, uh, as uh, we know in the future is, uh, employees who have the capacity to work in teams, accept diversity, um, and to um, be able to work uh, in, in cross teams across the world. So those skills are um, what Giancarlo will talk to you about, and um, you can work with him in that wonderful innovation space. Or after morning tea, um, we will have 
hear from Leanne Robertson, Martin Richards, and we're very privileged to have them here as well. They, um, Leanne runs the project for the Digital Technologies Hub for Education Services Australia, which is something we should be very proud of as well in this country, that um, we have a way to support teachers everywhere to implement that uh, digital technologies. And um, the, that team is here with you for two days, so make sure that you take um, advantage of being able to network with them and find out what um, is available to you for free by from the government in terms of supporting you implement the curricula. We, our next um, amazing uh, speaker then will in the in Everett will be Eddie Wu, and I'm sure if you've heard of WooTube or you know that he was a global finalist representing Australia in um, globally as an outstanding teacher. Uh, because he has created all these amazing videos on teaching mathematics and that's the title of his session is reimagining mathematics um, and he's such an inspiring teacher uh, from Cherrybrook High and um, he has actually written a book and he will be um, doing a book signing at our event which is very special indeed we're thrilled that he will be there then after lunch on that day, our next keynote will be Dr. Christy Goodwin, and her research is about the appropriate use of devices with children. How much time should they be spending on screens? What does that mean? What are the dangers? Um, and uh, what are the motivations? And what are the good places to, for for students and children to go? She she works with parents a lot um, because we know that parents are not as informed often about what their students or their children are doing. Um, and so her her work has always been um, cutting edge and um, she's very knowledgeable about that space. So uh, last year she spoke at our conference and um, she, she was very highly evaluated. Now, our next speaker is Lou Bao, who is also um, a, a, a worked with Education Services Australia for a very long time and is a very gifted um, education consultant in um, educational technologies. But her work at the moment is in how does a, whole, a school um, work to implement technology? And so, she will give you case studies of practice about how schools have gone about um, implementing the, the, that shift that's required. So, you know, it's it's trying to give um, school leaders a, a hand in what are the what are some very good strategies for making change in the school. Uh, and I, her her um, uh, work is very well known, and I think um, a, a lot of schools gained last year a great deal of strategies for how to make the shifts that are required. And then at the end of the day, um, Jeff will uh, and Greg will wrap up what we've done for that um, period of time, including the fact that uh, we have a program in, at SMART called the SMART Exemplary Educators Program where we identify outstanding practitioners and they um, are, in ultimately invited to attend a, a, um, a, a global summit um, and to they have access to resources and support around the world and we are very fortunate that um, one of those um, C's is actually a, a teacher at the school um, and uh, she will be presenting in the morning um, on that first day um, and after, so what you will do as a participant, just that's our sort of keynote strand. At the same time, there will be a think strand and then there is a training strand. So you've got a choice in how you might um, set up your um, day. So you might want to go and hear Janine, um, who, or as I say, is a C and she'll be talking about learning globally with SMART. Um, Lou, Lou will do a um, workshop session um, on how to embed general capabilities across the curriculum. And we also have a very strong relationship with University of New South Wales um, Global, where um, 
which is, as you would know, um, produce a lot of the assessments that uh, schools participate in and they're moving into digital assessments and Adam Gelisio will be showing you about how to leverage tar um, technology and target assessments for years three and six. Um, Bridget Van Leuven is the um, education manager at the Opera House. She is passionate about creativity and learning and uh, she she will actually be in the art space at the school and we thought that's very appropriate for um, the kind of work she does and if you're interested in knowing more about what the Opera House does and in, in supporting learning in schools and learning for students that Bridget is a fantastic uh, presenter. Um, Matt Peedle, as I said from EdTechs, will have a, a room full of robots and V-bots and extraordinary uh, tools um, for you to see, learn about and learn how you can embed those into your curriculum. And um, we've got Giancarlo also doing a mathematics session for you. Greg Richards uh, has a um, 3D uh, and a body um, app that you can uh, show children how the body works, you can um, see the blood flows, it, uh, it's an extraordinary uh, tool for learning um, in, in PDHPE. And uh, Rebecca Boyle, who is a wonderful uh, teacher from Curl Curl North, uh, will share her work with Makey Makey. Um, and Scott Stramick from Canon will, is going to run some specific photography sessions uh, in that art space as well and show you how to um, in, enhance, introduce photography into your uh, the digital media for those digital narratives. Um, we also have a company that um, uses augmented reality and I think that's a very exciting space for, for teachers and I think that's a, a great session that you should be able to participate in or choose to participate in. Um, and Seb Dianti is actually a doctor, Seb Dianti from the University of Queensland who's introduced smart technologies through his faculties, uh, language faculties up there and has a lot of research around using um, the uh, smart boards and factors affecting that adoption. So if you're interested in how you might spread the adoption of these tools in your school, he would be very good to listen to. We've talked about Lou before and Adam, and as you can see, the sessions do get repeated. So you can plan your day effectively um, so you don't um, miss anything. Uh, in, and just to show you, uh, session four on that day is uh, a company that's working with SMART so that students can design um, on their SMART board and then print to a 3D printer. And so they'll show you those processes and, and the sort of learning that's required to do that, which is very, very creative indeed. Uh, and Martin Richards, again, from Education Services Australia will assist you in some programming strategies around digital technologies. And then if we go across to the um, training sessions, you can then choose, if you like, um, let's just let's move my screen across, just bear with me for a minute. You can see that we'll have lots of training around using your smart board and, and the smart learning suite in particular, which is very important because um, we, the whole conference is accredited and so if you your job is to see what um, you will attend to in, ensure that you achieve the skills that you want for um, your own professional development. So if you want to just go to training all day, you could do that. But my, um, if you're uh, a team from coming from a school, often we have a whole school coming, you might like to spread that selection of sessions uh, and sure you have leadership going to some of the leadership um, sessions. You've got the uh, IT person perhaps looking at some of the more technical parts of the um, sessions and if you're an, uh, an ICT integrator yourself and you want to inspire, you might want to go to those inspiring sessions. So day two, um, it's pretty much the sim a similar structure, but um, 
Well, how we're going to work that one is the, the first part of that morning, you'll be in um, Everett uh, because the um, we, we have a, quite a strong focus on gamification that morning. Uh, we want Jeff, to, though, our VP, to uh, talk to you about our research and then Dr. Bronwyn Stuckey, who uh, is a familiar name for a lot of us Australians. Um, she actually presented at ISTE with SMART because she believes that the SMART software helps teachers to build gameful practices into their uh, classroom practice. And she will um, be the keynote then. And we've also been working with the eSafety Commissioner and um, they actually have a game for um, e-safety and it's actually a good game, which is what Roman also talks about, the importance of games, not just to shoot 'em ups but games that can teach. And this is a perfect example of that. And then following just um, down a little bit further, you could see here that um, the eSafety Commission will be there to show you that game and ensure that you're um, understanding how you can keep your kids in your school safe. We haven't forgotten the early childhood teachers either. Um, and Michelle Gregory is a, a lecturer from University of Wollongong and a leader in that space. And uh, she has will um, take over that wonderful innovation space. Again, that lovely learning environment um, and uh, share her uh, knowledge around that, those early years. Um, after lunch, the keynote on that day will be Professor Kelvin Gregory from University of New South Wales. Uh, he is a guru in uh, all things assessment and um, how we use technology in differentiated assessment. So we know that um, we, we could see, if you look at all of the um, uh, newspaper articles about NAPLAN at the moment, and some schools did it online and some st students didn't, that we're in a transitioning space around assess, uh, technology and assessment. Um, but SMART actually has a lot of tools to help with formative and summative assessment and it's important that you, uh, very simple tools to use, but you become familiar with how technology can support you in assessing and uh, Professor Kelvin Gregory's keynote will get you, give you that higher um, level of thinking around um, where assessment is heading. Um, then after that, you can uh, go to the uh, innovation space with Bronwyn and uh, actually have a hands-on work uh, gameful session with her in the innovation space. And then it come back to that Everett Hall at the very end uh, where we will close the uh, conference and um, give you some the feedback on the research because we would like you to participate in that uh, survey tool during the two days uh, and add to the knowledge of the group. Um, and once again, there will be the um, Innovate sessions um, and it's a similar choice as, as we, we said on day one. So plan your days, work out which ones, which sessions you, you wish to attend. Perhaps the thing is to, to look at the, the, where the keynotes are and then look at um, where you're, you want to do your absolute training and then with, your, with the Innovate sessions, um, see which ones work in terms of your um, agenda. So on that second day, if you're a language teacher, for instance, you might want to um, go to Rebecca Boyle's session on using Smart Learning Suite online in a language setting. Um, and if you want to learn more about using online tools to assess higher order thinking, you might want to go and see Adam. So there's, it's important to read the description because they are some of our um, sessions change, even though it might be the same presenter, they're, they're having a different focus in, in another session. Um, I think another highlight um, 
of a conference is that exhibitor space so that you can network with some of the people who are presenting on, uh, and ask your questions uh, in an informal way uh, in, in that uh, what they call a lower Everett, and of course lunch will be served um, down in the in around that area. So you'll be able to have your lunch and then maybe pop into that that area and have a chat to uh, some of the presenters. It's a very friendly conference, and um, we we always want our um, teachers to mix with our amazing trainers. Now. I think the training sessions on day two are amazing as well. Um, we have Catherine DeCagney and Stephen Yeo, uh, both um, global smart employees, and they're coming out from Canada to um, show us the latest and the greatest. Um, and also we have in this section, I think you'll see, um, the wonderful Nerida McGeeky. She was... Um, Deputy at Ask with Girls, and it has been an extraordinary practitioner all her career, and a very big advocate of using smart and smart software in um, to enhance classroom practice. And I, her session, if you're a high school teacher in particular, on making um, tools to make learning visible will be very inspiring. Um, I also think there's Beck's session, how to collaborate with SMART and, um, and use the workspaces, which is a new and exciting element of the SMART Learning Suite. And I know that the SMART Learning Suite itself is very, very exciting and there's so much to learn that a lot of you will want to be in these sessions. We have our own team members, Rob Meyer and Liam Ryan, who are absolutely outstanding users of smart technologies and Kevin Daly is now is always been um, a, a great advocate and wonderful consultant and user of uh, smart in the classroom so I think in um, I'm just just checking there also Seb Silbert has been um, a user of smart for a very long time and he's going uh, having had all those sessions about gamification he'll show you specifically about gamification um, for, for learners in, in the smart lab so uh, and Liam's going to show you how to use the smart document camera which as many of you know is an outstanding tool in the classroom especially for um, reading and big books and demonstrating to kids and now the um, capacity of that tool to for video and all kinds of things is it, it, that's a very good session for you to participate in. So obviously there are limits to the numbers of people that can attend sessions. So when it would be, it's really important that when the registration portal goes up, that you um, jump in quickly to get the very things that you would like for your own learning and if you've got colleagues who are not necessarily as fast as you encourage them to do that quickly so that you get to go to the things you want uh, we do repeat sessions as much as possible so that we ensure teachers can go to everything um, our portal will be going up in, in at this week or next so just and in that registration portal you will also find um, a category to put in your number so you get your accreditation which is very important so when you are registering make sure you've got that with you so that you don't sort of get halfway and then realize that you haven't haven't got that ad advice so I think we have two minutes uh, remaining um, and I think um, the you the, there may be a couple of questions, Beck. I'm not sure. Usually people want to check whether it is free, um, and it is absolutely free. You can take a whole, your whole staff if you want to, but you have to. Uh, we're already up to 250, uh, so you, if you haven't registered, be quick. 
And uh, we do have a, a couple of questions here, Sue. We've got one great one from Marcus. It says, Dear Sue, this looks like a truly amazing program that you've all put together. Is there any chance that material used by the presenters at IGC will be published online later, even just the static PDFs, or maybe all the different sessions will be recorded? I know it won't feel the same, but there is so much happening in parallel that it can be difficult to pick one over the other. <laughs> That's always a problem, yes, and we're, we're looking at that. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, the, the presenters don't uh, want to hand over their whole IP. Others are quite happy to do that. So that will be a choice from the presenter. So I don't want to say yes, 100%. We've also been asked by Global to uh, video um, the augmented reality, the 3D printing, because they think some of that is very exciting. We're going to work with our journalists at the school to to capture um, a lot of the the feel of the of the event, and we'll have social media happening. So, in in one word, yes, but um, I, it won't be every single component, just because, as I said, some some presenters uh, like to keep their um, IP, so they might give you some overview rather than the whole of their their presentation. Through to we may not capture everything on video because actually no one does watch 100 hours of a conference, uh, but we, we'll try and capture as much of the, the knowledge as possible and share it, Marcus. Great job. Um, and we've got one from Phoebe here saying, um, Sue, top four picks. What are your top four must-sees, don't miss? Top four, always um, Bronwyn, Stucky for gamification. Um, I would definitely go to uh, here explore Smart's latest innovations in that in the training session. Um, you uh, and I, Jeff, hearing Jeff Lowe's uh, research really really important. Um, and um, I think going to hear Eddie Wu if you could. Perfect. Thanks, Sue. Thanks so much for that. It was awesome. My, I, know, I don't know about everyone else, but my two days uh, have certainly just filled up and uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time to present now, so <laughs> I'll be uh, busy at the keynotes, I think. Um, it'll be a great two days. We look, for, we look forward to seeing everybody there. Thanks, Sue, for giving us the rundown. That was incredible. We hope to see you back here next week for the next webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Wonderful. Bye.